Hi, I'm Irene Franzese, and I wanted to do this video today and uh, discuss a book that I am reading. I'm reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, when I first saw the title, I thought it was about himself, per se, like being probably he came from um, humble beginnings, from a poor background, and then he became wealthy, which he is very wealthy. But that has nothing to do with it. Actually, um, it's because he had two dads. He had a rich dad and he had a poor dad. Now, I don't know why he has two dads. And I am assuming as he goes into the book, he will probably let us know why he has two dads. But um, it, it's really very enlightening because each dad had a different outlook on what money meant to them. His um, poor dad would say, I can't afford it. And so he would settle. Whereas his rich dad would say, how can I afford it? And he would uh, stimulate his brain to figure out ways that he can afford whatever it is he was looking to get. And um, there's a, quite a few other outlooks that they have, and I couldn't remember all of them, so I'm going to just read a few of them, the different outlooks that they have, uh, because it's, it's amazing how somebody who doesn't have money and somebody who does have money, how they think differently. And I'm just going to give you a few. One dad recommended... Study hard so you can get a good company to work for. The other recommended, study hard so you can find a good company to buy. I found that very fascinating. One dad said, the reason I'm not rich is because I have you kids. Whereas the other would say, the reason I must be rich is because I have you kids. See, can you see what, where I'm going here? It's like just so different. One encouraged talking about money and business at the dinner table while the other forbade it. Uh, the subject of money to be just dis discussed over a meal. One said, when it comes to money, play it safe. Don't take risks. The other said, learn to manage risk. One believed our home is our largest investment and our greatest asset. The other believed my house is a liability, and if your house is your largest investment, you're in trouble. Uh, both dads paid their bills on time, yet one paid his bills first, while the other paid his bills last. One dad believed in a company or the government taking care of you and your needs. He was always concerned about pay raises, retirement plans, medical benefits, sick leave, vacation days, and other perks. He was impressed with two of his uncles who joined the military and earned a retirement and entitlement package for life after 20 years of active service. He loved the idea of medical benefits and PX privileges the military provided its retirees. The idea of job protection for life and job benefits seemed more important at times than the job. He would often say, I worked hard for the government and I'm entitled to those benefits. The other believed in total financial self-reliance. He spoke out against the entitlement mentality and how it created weak and financial needy people. He was empathetic about being financial competent. And that leads even today because I don't like to bring up uh, like Obama, but he has given so many people uh, entitlements that they, why should they go out and work when, when they can get it free from the government? And that's just the wrong mentality. Um, and another thing, this morning I was watching a program. It was this was very apropos. Uh, it was a news program, and it was about Billy Idol. I don't know if a lot of you know who Billy Idol was. Oh, he is he's still alive? He's 58 today, but he was very big back in the early 80s. He was um, in a rock band, and he had a mother and father. He's still got a mother and father, but uh, he went to college. He was going to college at the time, and his dad was a salesman. And, uh, he, you know, he, he knew his dad as a very hardworking man. He provided for the family. You know, he put a roof over their head, clothes on their back, food on the table. And they instilled in him, you know, to, to go to school, get a good education, and to get a job. So he took a good look at his dad. And he didn't like what he saw because his dad worked very hard, and he was a salesman, but he was selling a product. And Billy Idol... He didn't want to do that. He wanted to sell himself. He wanted to brand himself. So he just decided one day, he spoke to his parents, and he said, look, he says, I'm going to drop out of college, and I'm joining a rock band. 
Well, his parents, like, hit the ceiling, and um, they were not on board with that. They were very angry, and um, they kind of weren't talking to him for a very, very long time. Um, he has since uh, reconciled with them, and um, he spent time with his dad because his dad was dying of cancer. And um, his dad, even on his deathbed, said to him, Son, he says, I'm sorry if I made you feel, you know, like um, you, you made the wrong choice or you did something, you know, you did something bad. So, and Billy Idol thought about it for a second and he turned around to him and he says, it was really crazy to do. But you know what? It worked out for him. So, uh, I'm not saying that you should drop out of college, you know, and go join a rock band. But you should think about, you know, like trying something different. Because when you go to college, they teach you philosophy and um and, and, and book learning, but they don't teach you how to make uh, and, uh, money. They teach you how to get a job. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's a very, I, I, oops, I urge you to actually get the book. Like I said, it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki, and um, very good book. And as I read more and more into it, uh, I'll be doing uh, other videos on it. Uh, but I do suggest that you get it. It's very, very enlightening. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.